So hello, uh, another vlog this evening. I'm uh, up on the hills again, just above the River Brathe and Elta Water, just behind me there. Uh, it's a fantastic evening. I've just walked here from my caravan, so uh, no cars have been involved in the making of this vlog. Uh, very green tonight. So I just had a little walk up here. I've, I've done a, made a vlog from here last year uh, in the summertime where I was shooting this scene behind me, and uh, I promised myself I would come up in the um, summertime, uh, sorry, the sunset and sunrise. I've not managed sunrise just yet, but I've certainly managed a sunset just now, which uh, sun's just set to my right over there. And it's um, it's been quite a, quite a nice evening, to be honest. It's been pretty cloudy all day. Um, this afternoon, this evening, it's, it's come out lovely. So I uh, got uh, cleaned out and there's a, a bit of um, a bit of cloud just on the on the horizon there but I've made some nice images as the the sun setting behind Crinkle Crags there and uh, and Bow Fell so that's quite nice I was hoping to get some uh, some rays coming over um, Lingmore Fell there on, to illuminate Elta Water and the River Brathe behind me there but unfortunately that um, well it did happen it was doing that when I arrived and I got a quick shot of it so I'll show you that now and hopefully that's come out well uh, I've just shot that with my 45 mil lens but the intention for this evening was to use the the 135 millimeter lens which is around about 105 mil i think in 35 mil format and make a, a sweeping panoramic image right the way across here super detailed with this nice glorious ray of light coming across um, so maybe one for another day but certainly a good evening to be out nice and quiet as well not seen another soul all all evening well all day in fact um, so yeah, it's uh, it, it's fantastic. I mean, what what one of the things I'm no well, I already knew this really, but what I'm realising again is obviously mentioned in my last vlog. I've been doing a lot of um, photography at the beach, you know, for sunset, and one of the good things about that is you get to see the sun until it actually dips behind the horizon. Where obviously here you've got the mountains in the way, so. Uh, I knew I needed to be here by um, eight o'clock in order for the to catch the sun above uh, Crinkle Crags there, um, and it is still above it, I believe. But there's now a bank of cloud, which there always seems to be just uh, diff, you know stopping the light from uh, from from illuminating this foreground. So it's quite dark in the background there. But I'll see what I can do with the processing. I might be able to just boost it up a night a bit, and uh, we'll see. So. I'll run through some of the images I've uh, I've shot there, and we'll see. But it's uh, it's a fantastic view from up here. I'll um, I'll show you some scenes around, but really pleasant. It'd be nice to camp up here. You get the sunrise over to my left, and it goes behind you there and sets over here. So if you was to be here at the morning and the evening, it would be uh, it would be pretty good, I would imagine. Anyway, we'll get on, see how the images have come out, and um, yeah, good to be back out up high making some uh, some images again. Nothing like mountain scenery, eh? So this is the first image I made um, on this particular shoot, and I'm actually really surprised how well it's come out. I think when I was doing the piece to camera, I'd uh, I'd forgotten that I'd um, that how excited i probably was at making it i think my focus was so much on the longer lens but um this is really pleasing to me this image it's actually very similar or very close to to what i hoped to achieve so as you can see there we've got the sun just about to set bet uh, behind the weatherland the distant fell there on the left and um, we've got lingmore fell in the left middle section just before the langdale pikes what obviously causing those light rays to uh, flood across the scene there and light the fells above the Elta water and the river Brathe. Absolutely delighted with that image. I think it's um, it's the reason why I went up there really to create an image of that nature, panoramic and uh, this wide wonderfully lit, lit shot. So I'm very happy with that indeed and uh, created with my 45mm lens but um, so not as many pixels as if I'd have shot it with my other, uh, my longer lens, but nonetheless a very pleasing image to me, and it'll print beautifully, I would imagine. So here's a, a 
as another version of the image this was made a little bit later than the, the first image uh, you can probably if you was to interrogate you can see the light rays are quite different and um, I find it always good to make more than one shot of the same scene because the light changes so fast and it, it has such an effect on the landscape how the the rays are illuminating various different parts of the the contours of the scene there um, it's always good for me as well to take a more than one image like I said just in case there's anything wrong with the first image I'd I know that's probably um, an insurance policy, I guess, against things not working out as, as you'd have hoped. But I think the, the first image is probably my preference, um, but both are strong images. If I hadn't have made one or the other, I'd have still been delighted with, with the one what I did make. There's a bit of flare in this image, just in the uh, left centre area there bef below Lingmore, but I, I don't think it distracts from the image. It is at the end of the day a photograph, so um, yeah, it's uh, both very pleasing images. Very pleased I, I I got up there and I made those images. I hope they'll be uh, successful as prints. So yeah, as the uh, as the sun's dipping behind me, as you can see there, hopefully. I'm going to uh, I'm going to set up again and try and take a few more images now that the uh, scene's a bit more balanced. Uh, the the sun's not as as bright in the sky, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to um, hoping that I'll be able to balance a bit more of that valley in the in the in the foreground with the uh, the sky. It's quite difficult when you've got shooting directly into the sun. I, I often bracket shots like that myself, but. Uh, it's evening out a bit now, but it looks like there's a bit of haze or mist maybe forming just in the distance. It's given a bit of separation between the layers of the different contours of the uh, the fells there. So I think I'll uh, I think I'll go and set up and shoot that one. Okay, so this is uh, an image I was referring to where the scene's a bit more balanced. I think once you've seen the original image, this these uh, well this image just doesn't. It's not in the same category really. It's it's an okay image showing the uh, crinkle crags there, Scarfell Pike in the distance, and Bowfell, but uh, I just don't think it has the same appeal as the much wider, better lit scene. Uh, here's a variation of the similar image which has been cropped into the square format. I wanted to include the farmhouse uh, on the bottom right corner to give some scale, but again, I'm not sure how. Um, happy I am with that given the wider better lit panoramic okay well thanks for watching I appreciate your uh, support with my channel and uh, if you've got anything you want to add to the uh, comments on the images please feel free to do so in the comments section below otherwise thanks again for watching uh, if you're not a subscriber already please consider subscribing there's a few more videos coming soon over the next few weeks and I'll look forward to sharing those with you again in the near future all the best for now bye bye